What's up everybody, the CEO, the money maker, the ass taker, Storm Allen, baby. And we back with another mother loving video, baby. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So you guys have been asking for this one for a while now. And it is a full deep down how to play Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you, if you guys checked out my channel before, you know I play a lot of Plants vs. Zombies now. Uh, but I got a lot of people asking, yo, I, I don't understand what you're doing. I want to get into the game, but it looks difficult to understand. So I'm going to break it down right now. Uh, we're going to jump on into the gameplay. First and foremost, I'll show you just the basics. And then we'll go into a bit more advanced uh, stuff for the video, guys. It's going to be pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It's just a mother loving another day of playing chess, baby. All right, so let's jump on into the game. All righty, guys, so let's jump on in. So first and foremost, guys, I'll go into a match and I'll explain each and every uh, thing. It, this is a basic dive, guys. If you want a more deeper, in-depth dive on the game overall, let me know. But there will be timestamps in uh, down below for you to choose what's the best part that you don't understand and you can be we watch it and also guys leave a comment down below what class you would prefer using what side do you prefer being on is it the zombies or the plants me personally i prefer using uh, the zombies all right so guys at the start of every match you have one free roll uh to change the first four plants you start with and you also start with a superpower of each class so i have three superpowers but i got this one this one gives my plant a double attack and a double health it's pretty good all right and each each plant or zombie has their own abilities all right so this this plant um is a team up so you can play two plants in the same row if you play this plant so let's go here we're gonna break it down your goal is to always get a hit off to the next row you want to make sure this any row you're shooting at is clear for you to hit the boss the opposite opponent all right we both start with eight health three shields in total uh, um so i have 18 he has 18 18 and this is the damage that each one of the plants does or zombie so he has one 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 hit one health one hit one health two hit hit one health so he has two attack damage all right so just for example guys this is a one hit card i play it right here it is a lily pad so you have a height and you have water and i'll place my special ability on that lily pad to give it a two attack a two health so now it's three and two mm. the goal is to clear the field so you can hit the opposite opponent shields or at random all right so we're gonna go into that too into tricks a little bit later down in the video but just for now uh, i just want to explain everything i'm doing all right Oh, he now plays a 3-1. His special ability is to is to get another dancing zombie. All right, so when played, makes another random backup dancer, which is a 1-1. One, one. So we use one card to make this 1-1 one, one zombie right here. We're going to look at our abilities. We have the Lily of the Valley. When played, a plant on height gets 2-2. Two, two. If I play this plant right here, Let's go here and f and put it on the water since we got the lily pad. So now any plant I play on the height will get a special 2-2 two -two buff because that's this plant's ability. We're going to go here. We're going to get a 5-3. And well, how that works is the bong chai once played, you get a special 1 attack. So that 1, we had a normal 2-1. But we played him and he got to a three run on the first turn because that's his ability uh, then the two then the two two a little bit of math i know it's quite difficult but it is interesting once you start kicking ass baby all right your shield can either be built up to 
once once doing a hit he can either get one shield two shield three shield meter build up all right so now now we can look at the abilities of these plants all right so the hazel witch at the end of this turn destroys a random zombie and makes a, a puffer shoe so it is a team so i'm gonna play right here since i know it's gonna live through the next round because it's a one hit and he has three health oh wow so he's gonna activate a trick on that zombie making it stronger he does double tricks on that zombie to take out my hazelnut which is a good play we take a little bit of damage but we just activated that shield which grants us another superpower we're gonna freeze this guy perfect perfect use of that superpower uh, so we get to keep that hazel which is gonna kill a random zombie because his ability is to kill a random zombie and make a puffer shroom which is a 1-1 one -one, which is right here and also guys i should have mentioned this earlier in the video uh so each round has four portions and let me explain the four portions so the four portions are zombies get to play their their minions first then plants get to play their plants with their tricks which is the tricks are the round ones so the ones that have the round outline shape oval shape or tricks uh, square ones or minions that work together which are like plants and like zombies those plant, zombies play first plants play after but plants can play their trick together but zombies get to play their trick after so this is how it goes zombies play zombies zombies play their minions plant plays their minions and tricks together then zombies get to play their tricks then the fight happens okay so let's go so so let's go here let's go team up make these two guys stronger all right and this trick makes my plant does a bonus attack we're gonna do that the bonus attack and get one strength beautiful so he's at 10 6 right now he has the ability to play tricks he had no tricks he gets the block off saving him from that three damage he activates his trick that he got from the block okay and now we lose which is a beautiful beautiful gameplay that happened he ended up getting the block off and ended up taking the victory and that's just an example guys i wasn't really trying to win i was just showing you guys just a breakdown yeah. <laughs> oh so, so let's dive into a deeper breakdown now guys let's go to the collection all right so on the zombie side let's start on these zombies you have different classes beast class uh beastly brainy just for example there are three types of cards guys remember this minions which are minions tricks which are the oval ones you can play for zombies and then environments or like the crystal safe ones you would say environments can be placed anywhere all right these tricks this is a this is a minion trick 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 environment environment each environment does something else look at this for example uh so once oops. Well, once you play a zombie in this environment, you get a two extra brain for this turn. If I play this environment and play a zombie, I get two extra turns. I get two extra brains. So now, guys, let me show you a matchup on the zombie side. All right. And let's not choose a complicated deck because I want to break it down a little bit easier for you guys. All right. Let's jump on in. This is good. I know it's pretty. Let's be with me, guys. Be with me. Be with me. So we do get the role to either change any of these plants. I love these choices we got. We got two tricks, two zombies. Pretty balanced. Remember, zombies play first, then plants play plants and their tricks. Then, then we play our tricks after the fight happens. Let's go. Zombie right there. This, this is the bullseye damage that I was talking about. Meaning that if I get to hit him, 
I don't charge his block meter. So he's gonna block me. It's a pretty good play because that bullseye damage is crazy. Right? Oh, we do have an environment. So the environment we do have, um, this environment gets zombies here, get a two attack. So we could definitely use it right here. Or we can use a trick or special power, make two random imp clones. So he's going to use a special ability. But we should go make two random clones because it's our turns to play tricks. Remember, zombies min play their minions, plants play their minions and their tricks, then zombies get to play their tricks. Let's go here. They are trick. We got no value out of the trick because it was a random lanes. So he's going to get the five damage block, five damage hit. We didn't get to cover this lane. You want to take out every attack like that. The game does explain it beautifully. I'm telling y'all, give it a try. It is a beautiful game. It's like, it's like a chess. Quite similar to chess to me, because I find it has a lot to do with IQ, a little bit with RNG, but it has a lot to do with IQ. And once you learn how to play it, you'll love this game. We have a huge community. If there's anything else you guys need me to break down and go into a deeper dive of what like each zombie does or each plant does or the special ability of each zombies let me know guys i'll get into that breakdown hope y'all have a wonderful day make sure baby subscribe we live every day on pvz or clash royale go baby Can't even say the trenches, I guess we